Hello, hello, everybody. It's been a while. I am glad to be able to present something today in relation to our precious child baby testimony. How is everybody doing? Thank you for joining me from wherever you are watching me around the world. Thank you for continuing with the support on this struggle to find testimony who is growing into a big boy now. I see that child as a destiny child for many reasons. He is a destiny child and I believe God will use him greatly to reveal a lot of things, set people free, break boundaries and bring glory to God's name eventually. Just like Moses in the Bible, Moses was born at a time where there was turmoil and his parents had to do drastic things for him to be alive. They had to, his mother had to dump him, give him away, abandon him on a tree. And he didn't get hurt or killed while he was in, in that basket that was flowing downstream, the, the waves, the rushing of the water did not overwhelm him. It could have, there were creatures that lived in that stream. They could have smelt a human being, but God protected him. God in his divine mercy orchestrated how Pharaoh's daughter found Moses. Imagine, when my dear sister sing, used to sing that song about referring to Jeremiah as the Pharaoh of worry, Pharaoh of worry, when I started thinking about this idea, I thought, wow, this is so apt. Eventually, Moses grew up in Pharaoh's palace that prepared him for his time as the one who led the children of God out of bondage. Now we have a Pharaoh of worry who knows things regarding baby testimony, but he's been adamant. He's been such a godless person, not doing anything to help in discovering what happened or where that child is. Baby testimony had no choice when he was taken to that shrine. His mother took him there. He had no say. He was abducted eventually. Under circumstances which only Jerry Lyre and his crew can explain, as well as those who have seen the footages, because I, there is nothing anybody, anyone will say to me that would make me believe that there were no CCTV footages recovering the areas where that child was taken from. They can tell lies from now till pigs grow wings and fly, really, with those wings, but that's nothing. They'd know there were CCTV cameras on that premises. So I was just comparing that the, the, the call of God upon Moses was so great that God had to step in by himself and redeemed him, gave him that all the trainings, the special trainings under the watchful eyes of the king, whom he would eventually turn and work against. And we know the end of the story how Moses led the people away from slavery. We do not know what baby testimony would grow up to be. He's a young lad now, he's growing, whatever that might be. I know people have said he could be the president, a prime minister, uh, whatever he might turn out to be. He might just become one normal person. He doesn't have to be a great person. He is entitled to that life. Whatever God has for him, that's his right to be allowed to grow up to become that person with his family, his biological mother and his siblings, not with some total strangers who do not have any affiliation whatsoever with him. And God alone knows what they are doing to that child. But I want to believe that the way God protected Moses right from when he was born, that he wasn't discovered, God helps the midwives. They didn't kill him like they were, the, um, maybe some would have done. God kept him, his mother carried him to full term, hired him, kept him for three months and then had to abandon him in the stream, kept his sister to watch. 
I'm sure there are watchers. God has people who are looking after that child. So my dear friends and family, everyone around the world who's on this case, do not lose hope. God is looking after that child. The watchers are there. God's guidance angels are everywhere. That child is divine. He's a destiny child. He will be protected. Just like Moses, God will keep him. All the wicked people of this world would never see him. There will be one voice always in that wilderness where that child is who would continue to work, work on his behalf, who would speak in his favor to continue to preserve and prolong his life. And he would be given good treatment. There would be nobody who comes in contact with that child that wouldn't fall in love with him and want to just bless him. So my dear friends and family, our destiny child is there. God is looking after him by himself, giving him the training he would need for the years to come. Yes, I do not know how long, but we know we trust God who knows what's coming and he is fighting this battle with and on behalf of us. I will express my gratitude to everybody who has continued on this journey. You commenters, those who like videos, who share, those who just call or send messages to ask questions, those who call in as well, we are all grateful. And to all those platforms where this fight is continuing, Yes, we may not come out every day like we normally did. This is not there because we have abandoned the case. There is no abandoning here. It's just because life is happening to all of us. We are busy people. Various things are going on, but there is still work going on behind the scene as we continue to search for this child. And by the grace of God, he will be found and we will all be grateful to God and rejoice. I thank you guys. God bless all of us.